Hey, Purpose Peeps, let's unlock dimensions of diversity and purpose with me, Tina Wiggins, also known as Tina Wiggins Purpose. One of my favorite graphics to use are ones that depict a life's mosaic or even a collage. And what I share with people is that life can turn the kaleidoscope depending upon how life is turning the kaleidoscope in this customized life Life is a business business partner, and a part of the for us for us to realize our purpose. We can see different aspects of our life's mosaic, and this life's mosaic with all of the different relationships and experiences and perspectives, and like all of the things that are weaving this this beautiful creation. And um, mama bear and Gigi to peeps that are neurodivergent and within the LGBTQIA spectrum who is undeniably for the purpose of flourishing of others so those are like four aspects that I would really want to express one of them I express all the time is branding and So just take a moment and jot down what really comes up for you, soul to soul. So within that workshop, we would then show and spend some time on dimensions of And here's a graphic that extrapolates some, it's not an Thank you. 
are grounded in like one or more or a hybrid of some of these dimensions of diversity. So we have your identity, however you answer that, and that and that can be connected to uh, your primary dimension of diversity, which has to do with your age, um, mental or physical ability. Sometimes when I answer that question, I might mention that I have a physical difference as a, as a young stroke survivor. Um, your gender identity, ethnicity, um, sexual orientation, race, and gender. And then we move on to some secondary um, considerations, which may have to do with your religion, education. I added generation, geographic location, communication style. Every time I say this, for some reason, I think about the five love languages for some reason. Um, your marital or relationship status, appearance. Um, language, different archetypes, so um, your Myers-Briggs, ENTJ, your Enneagram, your purpose, your mind type, um, just these different um, modalities that help us to understand ourselves and therefore understand each other. Um, then there's also an organizational layer, and so all the different things that you might much juiciness here in the cultural realm and so all of that has to do with really being a human being and so what I added to that are what about the considerations of being an ecosystem of life and depending upon your um, your ethnicity or your culture and the rituals of that culture um, the ecosystem is really all the way out there the ecosystem could be even closer and more intimate Distinguishing that soul is not the same thing as saying as what type of human I present us. So just notice how you answered that question of the identities that are most important to you, and just notice where they live on here. Notice if notice if there's someplace missing. Notice if there's a cross pollination between the two.
that became popularized when people became curious about one of the blues bands in the world that actually have the longest living peeps that who just weren't living long lives, but they were living actualized lives, they were living purposeful lives, and just had amazing health and well-being outcomes. And so Ikigai was one of the philosophies that was discovered by being with the people and understanding, trying to understand some of the wisdom that allowed them to have these life outcomes. And so um, the element of Ikigai, or this reason for being, another um, definition of Ikigai is hope realized. And that's the one that I do want to um, really focus on right now. This speaks to me because we are in such a time of change. So focusing not just on the reason for being, but more specifically, what are the hopes that I wish to realize or at least um, plant seeds towards gardens of possibility and realization while I'm here, a soul having a new experience at this time. And so um, two of the aspects are really about perspective is so juicy please go check that out where i really want us to focus with the mentions of diversity um, that are really calling to me are the hearts of why and our connections so if we think about um, the dimensions of diversity as different ways that we connect with ourselves and others so when we say dimensions of check into these are all the different ways that we connect with the experience and there's a way of different possibilities we think about not only our life's mosaic but the life's mosaic of humanity in, by and large it's huge and when we think about the different things that are happening in our world however and
I would invite you to take a look at your heart center wise and your imaginal selves around connection. And just look at, um, allow yourself to have an expanded experience through the dimensions of diversity. And just really kind of look at what's really showing up. What do you have a heart for? What is breaking your heart? Where is that reflected within the dimensions of diversity? What are you seeing? Are you feeling any shifts? Because again, how we answer these questions about identity can be a really ingrained, conditioned, program, model, response, response. And what I'm inviting us into is to go deeper and to come from a heart center, um, a soul um, response. I would just invite you to also zoom out and have an experience of like, wow, when I am engaging with someone. And um, if you shop this question around and just really took in and just were um, witness the answers from other people and just start to see how rich the tapestry is, start to have a lived experience. I 
I believe I have a purpose as a woman, as a cisgender woman, being alive on the planet right now with everything that's happening. I believe I'm plugged in to that purpose, and I believe that how I respond to everything that's happening is um, a key to unlock that collective purpose. I believe we have a collective purpose as humanity. I believe that that purpose as humanity is connected to the ecosystems of life. And so this is just a way to um, really connect with people, connect with um, what's coming up, and to allow ourselves to pivot and to use what is tapping us on the shoulder um, with being alive right now, and which is just incredible. It's incredibly challenging a lot sometimes for me when I do purposely, but it's also too incredible to take a step back and just say, hey, wait a minute, I'm here. And I'm here at this time. And these are the ways that I authentically connect with myself, which could be correlated to what is mine to be able to do at this time. All right, so just take a moment and have some reflection with this. Um, maybe do a little contemplation. Um, life has a way that when we focus our attention on something, it can give a, it'll give us like um, juicy things to explore, to deepen the awareness about something that's up for us. It can you want to connect, you want to